Right then, a very good morning from Rome. The Colosseum. Yeah, we're at the Colosseum. Very tired. <laughs> We've only had about five hours sleep yeah. again. <laughs> but this is what happens. What you do on a road trip, yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, if you didn't already know, we've been in Rome, um, in, Rome in Italy since uh, Sunday. So Saturday today, we are having the full day and evening in Rome. Now we realise that Rome is huge. Is huge, and you probably do need three, four, five, however long, however many days yeah. to do it. We only have the one day, so we plan to do and see as much as possible. We're gonna try. We're yeah. gonna try our best. <laughs> We're gonna try. So yeah, as you can see behind us, the Colosseum. We've just arrived on the uh, train. Well, it's like the underground it's in like London, just like really. The tube in yeah, London. on the tube. So we parked up 20 minutes from where we're stopping. Um, we're stopping on the outskirts of Rome, about 40 minutes away. So yeah, park. Can't, definitely can't drive in Rome. Definitely not now. So we parked up. It was only one euro fifty to get the tube in. It took about 15 minutes. Not too bad. Yeah. It's been quite easy. So Very far, easy so, so far. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So yeah, so the station is was just it's, around there. Just opposite. Yeah, 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 just behind there. You, and obviously you walk out, you can't miss the Colosseum. So yeah, stupidly, <laughs> I didn't print out our tickets to get inside. Um, at, we like at panicking, home, so, panicking where we were like thinking we're going to be. Stood I thought in a we'd be. Yeah, I thought we'd be in a three-hour yeah. queue, so we thought we'd get here early. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, it's just that over here. If you've if you've booked online and you need to collect your voucher just this little desk over here <laughs> but yeah it's easy if you print off but i only waited five ten minutes there so that's fine we're not actually booked in until 10 past 12 and it's only nine o'clock now but we thought it's best we best get, get the tickets, tickets. Yeah. yeah we're going to be here till about 10 did you say well nine, it, ten, nine, ten it depends what we get done yeah. yeah obviously we might leave earlier but yeah see what happens but yeah we're now um We've got a bit of a wait before the Colosseum, so we're going to go and find something to drink, maybe something to eat, and have a little look around Rome, yeah? Yeah, I'm, looking for, I'm really excited for today. Yeah, it's going to be I've wanted to get here for, for years. Yeah. I know a few people have been. Another thing we've noticed, um, as you walk in, I don't know if you can make out any of the, the guys in, in a blue uniform. Yeah. Um, uh, what did it say? Tourist ba information. Basically, they're the guys that if you've got any, if you need any answer any questions, yeah. go to them. The guys, they they yeah. officially work here at the Coliseum. There's other guys with like white t-shirts. Oh, black. Or yeah. Black. They were just, go to yeah, them. They were just trying to sell you stuff. Trying to sell you. And they they, they were waiting right at the um, yeah. street before the you Coliseum. The, the official so, guys with the blue yeah. t-shirts. Just walk past them. And obviously, you get a lot of people selling stuff like this now. Perfume. Yeah. <laughs> but no, dead easy. It's to someone he said where to go to pick up the tickets so yeah. all sorted so yeah we'll go and get a drink and then see what happens all right so we're just walking away from the coliseum for now where are we heading well i'm gonna try and pronounce it i think it's the Salo del Grillo. that's probably not how you pronounce <laughs> it probably not how you pronounce it sorry but <laughs> apparently it's um, a 17th century oh, palace point. right and um, it's a massive square um, and this is somewhere that apparently the tourists wouldn't generally go to because they, they don't really know about it. Mm. I do want to try and do like a mixture of stuff yeah. today. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, but like before we start, before we, we don't know much about Rome, but we we've, got, we've got Google. <laughs> we know, we know all the major stuff. We do yeah. plan to do um, the Pantheon, the Spanish Steps and the, the Trevi Fountain, all the tourist yeah. stuff. Uh, oh, we've also got booked in for the Vatican, that's about three o'clock. Yeah, looking forward to uh, getting into there. I don't know if you've noticed today I'm wearing my trousers and t-shirt. It's very hot, but um, yeah, you, need you need your shoulders and your knees covered in some of the religious buildings here. Yeah, if you, if you are uh, obviously um, a woman, I would just suggest to wear a shawl. I've yeah. just bought one from home and I can just wrap it around me and then take it off after so then I'm not covered. Yeah, and then definitely what, need to be covered. walking out of the Colosseum again, then you get stopped by so many, so many people. people yeah. like, this is definitely the most tourist place we've visited Even so far. At, well, at Venice there was a few, there was but a couple, not but as much no as this. Nowhere near as this. Like Just coming up to you trying to sell you water or bracelets. anything. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll get to wherever Stacey's taken us now and show you some uh, views when we get there.
Oh, yeah, very nice round here. Absolutely gorgeous. Like this is my favourite bit. Hmm. Look at the top of it with the like horses there. Yeah. Just stopped off for a subway, quick <laughs> summer to eat and drink. Yeah, we've come to the Trajan Market. Um, Apparently, this is the world's oldest show you like shopping mall. The world's oldest, or one of them? One, well, one of them. Yeah. When it started with it, was it around the hundred AD? Yeah, around, around there. So yeah, but so I'll show you the info. Modern name of a huge complex, buildings and streets. You can see all the different stories there. Yeah, it's been identified with a sort of shopping mall built in at, at the time. Well, Obviously hey. now it's all just ruins. Yeah, nice to come and see. See, we were going to originally walk over to like the Spanish steps way, but for we're doing that later, so there's no point really. Well, I think we're gonna go over to this point here. Yeah. See this. Um, yeah, and again, then uh, we're just kind of at the moment just we're just sort of winging it until the Colosseum booking. And then we've got a bit. We've, it's gonna be a bit more structured. Yeah. <laughs> see, ten past twelve, uh, we're booked for, but we're gonna head over there about half eleven because obviously you have to queue up and that. Can I just say, these trees as well are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, so we've noticed them all on the drive in last night as well. We have noticed as well, like from where we were, the driving over here is a bit more crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like over the other, well, where we were, like Venice and stuff Lake like Garda, that, yeah. Lake Garda. I've still found driving pretty easy. If anyone's uh, worried about driving over in Italy, I, I've found it fine. It's just, just they are just wary, yeah. Yeah, the, the you need to be careful. Way. Um, they just they like to come out right in front of you, but <laughs> you get used to it. But yeah, um, we'll head over to here. Yeah, there. well, we'll look around here a little bit more, and then what you want, we'll get some photos at, back at the Coliseum yeah. before we head oh, in. See, Careful, So we've just walked around the other side. We've come to this huge, beautiful building. Yeah. Um, I think it's pronounced Vittorio. Um, translating to English, the full title is Altar of the Fatherland. Basically, this is a monument dedicated to the first king of a unified Italy. Yeah. Well, apparently, like I think it's his ashes. They're like. In the statue. Yeah. He's a, well, it says um, in the info he's immortalised in, in the statue. Yeah. And apparently, like it, Italians either love it or love it. <laughs> yeah. There's a guard um, by the gate there. It said no sitting on the steps. Obviously, you have to respect yeah, these sort of buildings. A monument. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? It's actually huge. Massive. Yeah. Well, he I head to the top there. You can see the guards there. Just what people watch, so you can take photos. But yeah, it's free entry to go into this uh, this section, anyways. Oh wow, look at that! They just stood there. They yeah. Boiling. I know. Yeah, I wonder how long they have to stand there for. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can just head you inside. Can go inside, and I think there's a lift. Yeah, we'll have a we'll it. have a quick look inside. Yeah, very nice building. Right, so we went inside there, made our way to the top. Sorry, I'm squinting, it's so sunny. I'll have to put my sunglasses on soon. And yeah, great views up here. Oh, you can see in the distance. Oh, it's massive. All of this created in memory of the first king. Yeah. <laughs> Big, isn't it? It's absolutely huge. Oh, wow. It's like the mixture of all like the old buildings and then like the new buildings. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It is cool. But yeah, we're gonna... There's so much history here. Yeah, there is. We're gonna head back over towards the Colosseum now and yeah, wait for our bookings yeah. time. Yeah, 
yeah so we're just at a point here just for anyone that's come in and um, there is a lot of people around trying to sell you water and it is very expensive there is actually plenty of water fountains um, which is clean and it's safe to use so yeah definitely in this heat need to keep hydrated because I'm absolutely boiling but it's lovely around here very busy try and drink lords today lords. <laughs> yeah headed back around to the Coliseum now it is busy it is it? isn't it very very busy Yeah, so we need we need to find um, where to queue up. Heading inside shortly. Probably, if you're watching this, you know what the Coliseum is. Yeah. Um, it is the largest amphitheater ever built. Uh, yeah, it was originally used for entertainment purposes, like shows and things like that. It was later used for uh, gladiator battles, executions. Isn't it the most um, popular tourist attraction in the world? Yeah, we've read apparently the most popular tourist attraction in the world. You can tell, can't you? Look how pretty. Yeah. Like, compared to earlier when I was getting a photo to here. Yeah. It's also not that expensive to get inside. There is many different t uh, ticket types you can get, different areas that you can get into. Obviously, it's um, close to the Roman Forum, which is included in the ticket price. Yeah. You can go in the underground, in the open arena. And yeah, um, we've read that you do ideally need about half a day here to see everything I know, but, but we've only got an hour or two before we've got the back and if you read everything yeah like yeah. That, but we don't know to that yeah so anyways we're going to queue up get inside and we'll show you some of the coliseum once we get in So we just walked inside straight in weren't we? That was absolutely crazy. Yeah, we that were panicking, queue. thinking, oh my god, there's a massive <laughs> queue. But that is basically people that are just queuing the day. Yeah, so um, our make advice sure you book. if you're coming, make sure you're booking online in advance. I just don't understand why yeah. you would queue like on the tip. That queue, you're talking a couple of hours stood yeah. in that. But there was a, a third queue with barely anyone in it. That we walked in because we'd booked online. We got told, didn't we, before? Yeah. Um, on obviously some of the fit on Facebook, oh, you'd be waiting hours and things to get your ticket. And there was there's no shade or anything. Like they're just stood in this sweltering heat, about 34 degrees now. But yeah, we're inside. I'll actually get a good viewpoint here. So we haven't actually seen this for ourselves yet, but we'll have a look now. It yeah. says as well on the entrances around 80 entrances yeah. to the Coliseum and around 34 trap doors that they would use for obviously all of the shows, yeah. um, any of the battle scenes and things like that. And obviously like this has been around a long time yeah. now uh, due to some earthquakes and stone robbers and things like that. It is partially ruined but it's still uh, intact enough to be able to come in and visit. It's crazy. So yeah, I think we're going to make our way to the top to get some better views. Yes, I think we've got access to the second floor. We haven't got the underground. Yeah, um, I, I'm not, to be honest, I don't think we do because when we booked it, the underground wasn't available oh, no. and there was li limited spaces. Yeah. Um, so we just, we just 
thought we'd, we'd get it booked just in yeah. case we missed it out on it. And That's the thing with stuff like this, it was the same as when we went to Alcatraz. It's like yeah. you've got to be on the you, ball and book it three, four months in advance. Yeah. Because otherwise it sells out quickly. Yeah. But yeah, um, we'll make our way at the top. Um, also reading, I think this, um, obviously when the spectators used to come inside, I think it could hold up to 80,000 people. Uh, I think the average crowd was about 65,000, 70,000. So yeah, a lot of people used to come in here and watch the show. Can you imagine it all going on in here with like lines and bears and stuff? Crazy. Obviously it's been used for loads of other things after that, like uh, it was um, a shrine for uh, religion at one point, um, it's, it was, there's workshops, loads of different things it's being used for. Obviously now it's the tourist attraction that it is today. Yeah, yeah we'll get to the top. Right, so we've made our way up to the top. They have like a museum area, I think. Tired after getting up them steps. I am, yeah. <laughs> there's loads, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this down here. Very steep steps as well. Yeah, a lot of it you obviously you can't get into. Yeah. It's like quite unsafe. Like you would <laughs> But yeah, there's like. It tells you information. Yeah, information it? about it all. No. But yeah, we're gonna go out into the open space bit. Some better views. Yeah. It's nice and cool up here. That's There's a nice breeze. Lovely breeze. Earlier on, if you watch our Instagram, you'll know um, Tom put his arm lit on the side, didn't you? Yeah, it was boiling, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, some amazing views up here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's great. It is good to see. Yeah, obviously, if you're out in Rome for your first time, you've got to come and see it. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned, um, our tickets were only 16 euro each. I think that obviously includes the Colosseum as well as the Roman Forum. The Roman Forum, yeah. Um, we don't yeah. get access, I don't think, unfortunately, to the under, underground. underground section. No. You have to pay a little bit more for that, but I think they just go straight away, them tickets, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they don't get to Right, yeah. we'll get some more water, I think. <laughs> yeah. Been here about an hour. Uh, we actually have to leave fairly soon to get the tube over to the Vatican. Yeah, and then we're spending the afternoon and evening over that end, aren't we, during the... Yeah, Vatican City. Right. And the plan is to have something to eat and then walk back over this direction and obviously seeing other tourist attractions along the way. Yeah. yeah. Hope you've enjoyed um, looking around the Colosseum. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed our Italy vlogs as well, because it is coming towards the end of our trip. We have about two more left to do, don't we? Well, yeah, Cine Set of World Cine, tomorrow. Yeah, and Florence. Yeah. But we've had a great time in Italy. We have, beautiful country. And lovely people as well. Yeah. Oh, Stacey's found no, a fan. Some Irish <laughs> girls gave me a fan in the toilet. So <laughs> Help us cool nice down. Cool. Yeah, we've actually entered the Roman Forum area now. It's uh, just next to the Colosseum, you see in the background. It's actually included in your ticket price with the Colosseum. It's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, so there's the Roman Forum, which is basically ancient government buildings and yeah, like a huge uh, rectangle. I'm not really entirely sure. It's huge though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's also the uh, Palatine Hill, which I've read is one of the most ancient parts of Rome. And I think it was about 40 metres above uh, the ground. So we get some great views at the top of there. <sighs> yeah, definitely the hottest day of the trip. Yeah, it's about 36 today. It's just more the humidity. I've been to Dubai. Yeah. And this heat reminds me of Dubai. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have a quick look around here for about half an hour before I get in the tube.
I've been inside here about 40 minutes now. It's a lot bigger than what we were anticipating. Yeah, they, they did say like if, if it is on the internet, and um, they would recommend about half a day, I would say, to for this and, and the Colosseum. Colosseum. Yeah, and I, I think that's about right. Yeah, you should easily spend about four hours. It's look, it's absolutely it's massive, huge. Especially if you want to stop and go in each section. Yeah, there's like different bit buildings you can go into as well. Yeah, I mean, for we've read that for centuries. Apparently, this was the Seven. the heart heart of Rome, yeah. like um, where everybody would come to uh, obviously now it's just ruins it's crazy it's like so big you just don't think you don't think it would be this big it's massive yeah oh every time i put my hand on there oh. i'm glad i've got this fan <laughs> but yeah sorry we're not the best at facts and things like that but um if you are watching and you've been to rome before let us know in the comments yeah. um what's your favorite part or if you know anything about here uh, yeah let us know yeah, we're gonna make our way around and then obviously get the tube across. Yeah. So we've made our way over to Vatican City. We're doing the Vatican Museums and also looking in the Sistine Chapel. We've already um, looked online. Unfortunately, there is no filming or photography uh, yeah. allowed in the chapel. But yeah, you, you know what it looks like if you look we've online. Got some photos, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, getting here was really easy. The uh, it's just like some just like London, London, isn't it? Yeah, we got the tube. We've got the tube, which the station is right outside the Colosseum. Yeah. It's uh, one euro fifty each for a ticket. You then got on to um, your first stop, which is, I think it's Termini. Termini, uh, Ter Termini. Yeah. So you get off there, switch over to the other side, and then it was about four or five stops along. We got off, and it's a five-minute walk here. So yeah, really cheap and really easy to get over easy to, to the Vatican. Yeah, um, it's about 10 to 3 now, we are booked in for 3, so just on time. Yeah. Also, I didn't realise how burnt I've got, so yeah. sorry if I've got a big red head. Um, and I'm sweating, so... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we'll get inside and show you some more footage. Yeah, we're just walking out in now, but we can't stress enough, like, you have to book online. That is the queue for people that are just paying on the day, and we've just walked straight in. Yep. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, we're going in now. Hi, right, so we're inside the Vatican Museum. Yeah, if you don't know what uh, this is, basically it's a huge museum with many famous paintings and sculptures uh, from the Renaissance period. There's the paintings from Raphael da Vinci. Uh, I actually did art as um, an A-level. And he can draw really good and paint really good. <laughs> I'm all right. You are. Um, so it's interesting for me to see. Yeah, there's also the option of going into the Sistine Chapel afterwards, which is what we're doing. Obviously the chapel is most famous for the ceiling painting The Last Judgment by Michelangelo. Yeah, uh, that's meant to be amazing. Yeah, so yeah, this, this uh, museum, there's actually over 60,000 artworks here. Only with 20,000 Yeah, 20,000 on display. So a lot to see. Yeah. yeah. How many it closes at four? I think that's just the last the last entry. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be interesting to have a look around. So I'll let's get going and we'll show you some this, footage of the paintings and sculptures. Yeah, this area as well is also where the Pope lives. It's yes. Like home to the Pope, yeah, so obviously the Vatican Museum is inside the Vatican City. There's also uh, St. Peter's Basilica, uh, which is a separate ticket, which we, we're not doing. We are just doing the museum. Well, I don't think you can because you need a music, you need a separate ticket. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, it's where the Pope lives. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. So let's uh, get going and have a look around. Let's 
show you the master, one of the masterpieces here, Transfiguration. Raphael's uh, last painting before he died. He was only 37. That's what I was saying to you, how long to be. But yeah. Stunning artwork. Right, so as you can see from the footage there, we've just come out of the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, um, we looked online before arriving and it did say no filming, but when we were inside, we saw loads of people Everyone, like, taking and, yeah. photos and videos and we weren't, we weren't sure if, um, if we should or not, but I thought I didn't want to miss the opportunity while we were there in case you were allowed, so I just got a couple of shots to show you in the vlog. But yeah, um, we've been in the Vatican Museum for well over two hours now. Yeah. The walk from the actual museum down to the Sistine Chapel, how long did that take? It took over an hour. Yeah. If, if we'd known, we would have had plenty of water. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it just takes forever to get actually Lord inside. Lots of windy, like, yeah. windy rooms and... But I would say it's absolutely stunning it's and um, really the, the, the chapel and obviously the Michelangelo painting on the ceiling, it's beautiful yeah. it is and it was well worth going to see. 100% worth the queue, yeah. um, my feet are hurting now but it was worth it in the end. Yeah. It's a once in a lifetime thing that you need to come and do isn't it? Yeah, so we just checked our step count on our phone, we've done over 21,000 steps now <laughs> and it's only about tea time. So the plan is now to get the subway to the, is it the fountain or the stuff? We're going to the Trevi Fountain. They're going to the fountain and we found a little restaurant nearby. It's meant to do really nice pasta. Well, it's meant to do over 90 different sauces. Yeah. So I'm going to see what yeah. it's like. So I need a nice glass of water. Yeah, well. definitely. I need to sit down now. So yeah, we'll get over to that way and we'll show you what we're having to eat. So on the way around to the restaurant we're going to, our uh, station to get off the next wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we had to get off at the next one and walking around we didn't realise we went past one of the um, tourist attractions here that we wanted to see the Spanish Steps. Spanish Steps, yeah, with a little fountain outside. Yeah, obviously everyone's going to uh, get water and 
and wetting the heads from them that fountain. Got the church on the top of here as well. Yeah. I think it's something to do with we created these to like link the church with something down there. And um, obviously <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but it, it, it's something like that. Yeah. Well, it's um, nice to come and it's see. Nice to come and see it. Obviously it's very busy around here. How many steps were there? About 136. Um, I think it was something like that. I'm not 100% sure, as I said. It's, not, it's just nice to come and have yeah. a look. Just on the, on the way. Obviously, we're going to go over to the fountain um, after, aren't we? Yeah. But yeah, nice to see on the walk around. Right, so we finally sat down. Nice little restaurant Stacey's found. Oh, this is lovely wine. Yeah. Really beautiful. They do loads of different pasta in the menu, don't they? too many to <laughs> so, choose. It took about 10 minutes yeah. to have a look. So we're waiting for our main. Yeah. We've, we've just got some toasted bread to start, one with tomato and one with four cheese. We've Do actually just watched, uh, walked past the fountain as well. It's stunning, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. So we'll head there once Very we've had busy the meal. Of course, but <laughs> yeah, as expected, but no. Glad that we've sat down. I know we've had it. We've had a great day. We have. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna have these, and then yeah, we'll show you the spaghetti we've got as well once that comes out. Mmm, really nice looking pasta. I've got the spaghetti with tomato and cheese. <coughs> What did you get, Stacey? Spaghetti, um, sausage and mushrooms with tomato. tomato. Mm. Nice. Really nice. Looks nice. You can taste all of the cheese and stuff in it. Yeah. So it's really hot to wine. eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have this and then yeah, get to the fountain. Nice after that meal, really nice spaghetti that wasn't it? Yeah, but look at this. Yeah. There's a, a Magnum uh, shop just outside the fountain. We're going to try one. Um, Popping candy. Loads of different Brownies. toppings. Yeah, loads. So you can see there, caught it, top it, sit, set it, drizzle it, share it, love it. <laughs> and all we bit, but you can't resist. You can't. Um, when, if we go to Florence, we'll probably just get um, a glitter and get more big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get an ice cream. Oh, so they get made so you can dip it in a one of three white dark or milk chocolate. There's actually 50 cents more for an espresso, so I got one. And you can choose three toppings. It's a bit of like milk on milk chocolate on it. Isn't yeah. It? Thank you, Gracia. Oh, go. it looks so nice. It's first, doesn't it? You can decide yours, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, They were four euro fifty or five if you want bad. the coffee as well. Yeah. Not too bad. Why don't we try something different? Yeah. Yeah, really nice magnum that just sent. That was yeah, so nice, it, it was, wasn't it? it? Something different to yeah. try. Definitely not eating any more today <laughs> now. But yeah, we are here. I'll just show you that Obviously, now. This is so busy, like yeah. heaving. Not going to be able to get to the front, I don't think. Well, we might if we can wait, but. I push through. I've raised the camera. They're at the Trevi Fountain, uh, constructed in 1762. Um, what's the... Yeah. the guy there trying to ask me if I wanted a photo. Yeah, there's a lot of them about, like we said earlier. Sorry, really busy, I'm just trying to get a better view. I'll wait here for now. Um, yeah, so what was it? Is it your right hand over your left yeah, shoulder? You over your left shoulder, it ensures apparently that you can return to home. Yeah, by throwing a coin. Yeah, by throwing a coin. It's like tradition type thing. Yeah. There's been loads of famous films like around, made around here, and um, like scenes from it. Lizzie McGuire film, which I watched when I was younger, and Roman's Holiday. Yeah, and like, it is uh, one of the most famous fountains in the world. It's beautiful. I think they get about 3,000 euros a day from this fountain. From and people throwing people coins throwing in. Them in. Um, it helps towards like the homeless, yeah. um, which is good. And 
Yeah, yeah. Obviously, and it, it's, it's illegal, illegal to take coins out of it. Yeah, but people still try though. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a little look around here now and yeah, we'll throw a coin in for good luck to return to this beautiful city. All my thoughts, they multiply I see it flash before my eyes I see the hope, the reasons why I lose myself in these city nights I lose myself in these city nights So we are ending our day here in Rome now. As you can see behind us, we're at the Pantheon, a huge ancient uh, temple, which is now a church. Yeah, this was constructed, I think, 126 AD. Around that, yeah. it is. Yeah. But to be preserved like this, for how old it is, it's amazing. But yeah, we are absolutely knackered now. We've been here, must be pushing 14 hours. It's crazy how much we've done. We've done yeah. loads, haven't we? We've seen a lot. I know it's called Rome in a day. Clearly, we have not done it all. There's a lot we've missed, but I feel we've like tried we've, our we've tried our hardest. We've seen a lot of the major tourist attractions. But yeah, what would you say, even though we've done an awful lot? Your well, highlights we've been? had to compete with the heat, but we have done a lot. And I would probably say the Colosseum and yeah. also... The uh, Sistine Chapel. Yes, yes. Yeah. But walking in and seeing it above you, the, yeah. it's just incredible. Yeah. I mean, um, it's amazing. It had is. such a nice day. had some nice food. Yeah. It's just nice to see everything. Obviously, the next time we come back, I would probably just come back like late September, October. It's just a, a little bit cooler. cooler. Um, and probably just come for like two or three days. And not on a weekend yeah. as well. Because <laughs> on a Saturday, so obviously being a tourist city, it, we expected it. But yeah. so busy, so many people trying to shove things in your face. It's crazy, <laughs> it does it? get annoying after a while, but you get used to it. But yeah, for me, I'd, I'd say definitely going into the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel, seeing the Last Judgment by yeah. Michelangelo above your head was crazy. It's so good to see in person, something you've definitely got to do if you're here. It took you quite a while to get in, yeah, it was, but it was worth it. Was it was worth it. And also the Colosseum, yeah, really good day overall. But yeah, we are heading uh, back to the car now, just going to get the train, it takes about 20 minutes, so not so, bad. Yeah. but in, in all, it's been easy getting around the city, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, tomorrow we're having a more chilled day, we're going to Cine City World, which is a theme park close by, so look out for that vlog next week. Yeah. We're going to try and go to the water park as well, maybe the beach, or the beach it's yeah. very nice for like the yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment. If you've been to Rome before, let us know if we've missed anything major. And uh, yeah, let us know what you thought of Rome. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Obviously, we do these city-style uh, vlogs. We also uh, do theme parks and fairs and things like that. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next vlog. Yeah, bye for now.